I am talking with Mr. Marshall Teague. You may know him from Stargate SG-1. Absolutely. And uh, what else we got here? We got Babylon 5, Star Trek DS9, Voyager, Sliders. Wow, I haven't heard that in a while. Walker, Texas Ranger. Did you beat up Chuck Norris or did you get beat up by oh, Chuck please. Norris? I, are you kidding me? No, well, of course yeah. not. No, that's Chuck Norris, man. I mean, yeah, no one, no one beats true. up Chuck Norris. Except for Bruce Lee. But Bruce Lee's not around anymore. Well, so, we, yeah. But he, he did pwn Chuck Norris. Yes, he did. But Chuck so. handled it well, don't you think? All right. uh, well, to be fair, Bruce did teach him. So, you know, you don't teach your students all your tricks. True. <laughs> so. True. So uh, we got to see you yesterday at yeah, the I had a ball. S SG-1 panel. Yes. Uh, oddly, you were saying that you were, uh, like, the military consultant for them. I'm, retired, the I'm retired military, former deputy sheriff. And uh, as they said, when they called me, said, would you come over and help them? with their weapons handling so they can look official. I'm more than happy to, you know, more than happy to. One of my dear friends was on the show, so I went over there and made new friends. Amanda Tapping, mm -hmm. I mean, great gal. Awesome. Great gal. I know, uh, I know guys like Ken here, who is military himself, he really, Thank uh, you for your he, he, will, he gets real nitpicky on shows when they're like, they're not holding that gun right, or they would never do that, or that's a bad wrong tactics. And rah, rah, rah. So I know, Fans like him really appreciate guys like you coming in and making sure people they, they know the right techniques and all that. So, if you're going to watch something, I mean, if you're going to watch something that is happens to be in that genre, the one thing you the one thing you don't want to do is to go in there and have somebody looking bad because it makes the show look bad. Right. Unofficial. You want them to move, flow, have it together, and it's great. When it's done correctly, you notice it. When it's done poorly. You really notice it. Exactly. It's worth doing, do it right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, that's almost our motto here. We're, we're working on it. We're getting, we're still building. We're still I, building. I, I noticed uh, that as you guys have been walking down, it's been great that you bring up, you know, NASA and the military and your appreciation for all. It means a lot, you know, because we went to NASA, uh, as you probably heard. Mm -hmm. And I look down at everybody with their cameras, their what you're looking here, their smartphones, all this great technology, and it was created and pioneered by NASA. The great lenses and, and the drawing, and, and people need to remember hey, even that. Even something as simple as Velcro. Exactly. Velcro came from NASA. I bet you didn't know that. Yes, and we, we noticed that on all the spaces. Velcro. It's right and, there. And uh, pens that can write upside down. NASA again. Again. Ken, Ken knows some, what are some other NASA inventions, Ken. Well, the, me the medicines, oh, well, the medicines, the yeah. being able the to zero G, zero, re zero G research. Absolutely. Definitely a bit, lot more benefits than people are aware of. And, and well, their, 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 their meals and nutrition that had to be, has to be compressed because you're talking about people that are going to be up there for six months at a time. And when they do a spacewalk, they every so many minutes, the temperature changes from mm -hmm. 400 degrees you know Fahrenheit to maybe 200 degrees below, below zero, zero. Yeah. below zero, and that is a constant rotation. The development of the suit and the layering effect came from NASA, by the way. See, well, you know, my, my take on it as a as a host is yeah. like, of course, we we are interested in your work, absolutely. But we we film all the panels and stuff for that, so it's like we're here we want to get to know you as a person your interest your likes stuff like that i just the, named you know the, the side the side that most people probably don't get to see and this is a chance for for you to present yourself well you know to armageddon we were at nasa you know in 1997 we filmed uh with sts 87 that was on the pad 19 days before liftoff so being able to interact with the astronauts made the job of being colonel davis and armageddon much more believable because you know you're mm -hmm. when you're with the real thing, right? I mean, that's an education. Oh, I bet. So you you learn to bring it. 
with the same intensity and drive that they, uh, you know, take on their job. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, kind of a buzzkill, uh, but uh, people want to follow you online, websites, Facebook, any of those? Uh, the official Marshall RT website. The official Marshall RT website. And I'm on Facebook, and that is it. That's how you find me. There's an official one. Awesome. Now that I know that. <laughs> there, there, you heard it. Please. If you're on a different one, switch over. Switch over and look at it. Thank you all. And for our troops and for the brave men and women that watch over us every day, thank you. I appreciate it. It comes from here. Thank you. Thank you for your time, and uh, it's been welcome. a pleasure. Pleasure for me, too. Right, thank, thank you. you.